Hey there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to change your zoom background. Um, and this might not work the first time you do this. Uh, you might need to go through and actually close zoom and then go back into it for it to work out. But this is just a simple way for you to do this. So as you're in the call, you'll see here there's a bunch of options here. And I'm in a call just all by myself right now for this recording. But what you'll do is up top here at the top left, this is four people on a Mac. You'll click on the zoom.us option. And then you'll go to preferences. You'll click on preferences. And what you'll do next is you'll see this pop up, this box pops up. And what you'll do is you'll go down to virtual background. Uh, all you gotta do is click that. And it starts off with a couple different options. Uh, there's the none, there's this one that's San Francisco, another that's grass, and another that's earth. Uh, so you can just click those really simply to have a couple uh, easy free ones that come with Zoom. On your option might have a couple other ones it might be a little different than that. Um, after this, if you actually want to customize different backgrounds, what you can do is you can go to this section here, the choose virtual background. All you gotta do is click on that and then go to add image. And you will need to have pictures on your computer for this to work out. Uh, if you don't know how to get pictures on your computer, let me show you quickly. So we'll close this here and I'll close this and I'll show you. So if you go to Google, google.com you can do something I'm just going to show you uh, we'll type in beach backgrounds we'll search for it and if we go to images the reason I'm using the beach everyone loves the beach uh, you'll see all these pictures pop up uh, a lot of the time you can use these but it's recommended that you use royalty free images so what you'll do here is you'll click on settings and then you'll go down to advanced search uh, and you click on that and after that, you'll go down to this section here that says usage rights. Uh, and what this means is it's basically going to allow you to use these without getting in trouble from the photographer. These are things that people create specifically for others to use. Uh, and all you got to do is click on the free to use or share even commercially. And then you'll click on advanced search. And you'll see here there's a bunch of different pictures. Uh, these are allowed for you to use. So I like this one. I'm going to click it here and wait for it to load and once it loads that's very slow to load we'll click this one oh yes you'll see here it opens up and that little section here says 960 by 640 that's the sizing of this um, the recommended size for ideal everything I'm looking on the other screen that tells me these numbers for is uh, 1920 by 1080 is like the ideal uh, the minimum resolution is 1280 by 720 so that one might not work. We'll see if we can find one. So this is bigger. It's very big. This one, we'll try this. So what we'll do here is we'll right click and we'll save image as. And we'll title this whatever you want. Zoom background beach. And you'll see it downloaded here on the bottom. What we'll do is I'll minimize this. We'll go back to space here. Just like before, we'll go up to the top where it says zoom.us, we'll go to preferences, we'll go to virtual background, and then we'll click the plus, go to add image, and we'll find that one that I just downloaded, the beach background for zoom. Nope, that wasn't it. Where was that picture? See, I'm writing a blog post on this right now. Oh, I downloaded it. So there it is, zoom background beach. Oh, that didn't work. So web page option didn't work. So if that's the case, you need to go back and do that again. So we'll close this. Um, one thing you can do is if you click through to the website, then you can download it here. This is uh, Pixabay. This is a free royalty free website and you'll find the free download section here and you'll select the size, click download, make sure that it allows us to download this. And look, that went there and downloaded. So we'll go through the process again at the top, go to preferences, go to virtual background, go to add image, and there it is. So this should update, so we'll click open, and then look at that, we're at the beach now. So that's one way to do this. Um, if you have questions about this or you're struggling with this, a lot of the time there are other options that need to be done um, outside of this particular setting. And inside the blog post, I'm going to link up in the description down below, 
it's going to teach you exactly what to do if that's the case. So that way, uh, you know, you'll be able to do this the next time you get on with your family for a Zoom call. So if you have any questions or anything, click the link that's down in the description. It's going to go into more detail and it's actually going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process for making sure everything works if it doesn't. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if this was helpful for you and I'll see you in other videos. Have a good day.